Oh, yeah, school mate. I don't know where I've been. I don't know where I'm going. Leaving last night's mystery sounds, we drove south. And it seems a bit odd to be driving south to go to North Harris. And I thought I'd get back behind the wheel again. Guess who's having a go at driving? Can I keep my hand in? Get your hand in. On my eyes. Your hand in your eyes. It's good to drive these single track roads once in a while. I mean, coming across this camp about that he passes us or we pass him we just had to pull over and admire this view it's the Marig viewpoint and it's just one of several places where you can actually park for free. All they ask is that you consider giving a £5 donation and we were to use one of these spots later on that day. And they actually provide a couple of bins for your rubbish too, so there's no excuses guys. After admiring the view for a few moments we decided we'd best get on to Tarbot. Now it was Sunday and we do know that things close on a Sunday in the islands so we weren't exactly sure what we were going to find. And you do have to be careful, you've got to consider these sheep because if they've got lambs and the mum's on one side of the road and the lambs on the other they do have a tendency to dash across in front of you so be careful out there.
How long ago is it since we're here? 13 years? Yeah. When we were last here, this old tab at stores was still <laughs> operating. That's an amazing building though, that isn't it? Yeah, I think Howard said it's still there, but it's not operating no, anymore. No, no. I mean, it had everything, didn't it? Yeah. Well, you can see by the sign, can't you? It says uh, <laughs> building, DIY, gardening, farming, fishing. What's the cottage one for? Crofting supplies. Oh, it says underneath. Ah. Crofting supplies. Wow. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get any ferries on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty quiet, isn't it? Mm. So it should be, I suppose, on a Sunday. Yeah. Sunday, two o'clock till four. What time is it now? Half past twelve. Ah. So I'm guessing it's not open. Hmm. If you need a wee. It's Sunday. Isn't it? That's what I'm saying. But only between seven fifteen and eight. Yeah, two. And two, two and four thirty. So, if you need a wee in Tarbert, you <laughs> you're stuffed, really, are you? <laughs> so I think we'll just continue going down burn, yeah? Yeah. Come on then. We'll swap driving. Well, we knew it would be quiet. We didn't realise it would be that quiet. No. Anyway, no, onwards and downwards. Different. Bye bye, Tarbot. I think that's new, isn't it, that distillery? Right, because they were all, oh, there he is. <laughs> Mr. Man from Hungary. Oh, he's always back Yeah. This isn't him, is it? Uh, yes, I think it might be. <laughs> no, he's not with us. <laughs> Turn left. Here we go, Bernie. Well, it was about there and then up that hill. Well, why did it tell you to turn there then? It didn't. Well, there's a I slip road that. there. Oh, I'm not going up that, it's a footpath. <laughs> turn left onto A859. Yeah, we're listening. Sorry, Sally. My fault. You now remember this. <laughs> Leaving Tarbot behind, we headed south. The plan was to go and visit that very special beach that everyone goes to, Muscan Tire. And whilst we continued on our journey south, we noticed a little coffee caravan on the side of the road. So we decided it'd be good to turn around and go back and grab one. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hello. Hello. Just had a coffee from this gentleman here. It was lovely. Yeah. Compliments to the wife for the, uh, for the brownies. For the brownies. Yeah. Oh, excellent. And Thank we'll you definitely much. follow you on Instagram. And it's Coffee Isle Harris. Isle Coffee Harris. Oh, God. Nearly. 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 So close. Nearly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks. It was lovely. No worries. And uh, don't forget to give us a look. Like and subscribe. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's got the lingo. <laughs> I don't even know your name. I'm Sean. Bye bye, Sean. Thanks yeah. a lot. Bye bye. We had a lovely conversation with Sean, and it turns out that. Out of respect for everyone else, he actually parks his caravan outside of Tarbot on a Sunday. But for the rest of the week, you'll find him parked outside the distillery. And I, I definitely recommend it, and it's good for a good crack too. Well, there should be some parking at this beach somewhere. Continuing south, it wasn't too long before we saw the junction and, and turned off right. After driving almost three miles on a single track road, we finally arrived at the car park and it looked reasonably busy. A 
and once again we were simply blown away by what we saw in front of us. Today. You need to rest your legs anyway, mate. Yeah. No, we can't bring them down every time. The mind's willing, but the body isn't, love. <laughs> it wasn't exactly the best sort of day. We'd have preferred to have seen it in bright sunshine. But it was cold, it was windy, and it was rather it's just dark a tad and grey. On the breezy side, let's put it that way. The sand's really soft as well, isn't it? Yeah, perhaps we should go a bit flatter where it's a bit firm. Don't eat all of it, but some of it's really good for you, you like kelp, don't you? Hey. Oh, that sounds a bit crunchy. You need to give us that back. Give us it back. You'll be sick. <laughs> no. Hold oh, on. Wait, 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 oh bless wait. him, he didn't want to give that up. And we tricked him by pretending him to throw it one way and then throwing it another. Come here Blue! Hey Blue! Ah. Leaving the beautiful beach of Luscantir, we're headed back down the single track road. Because on the way up, we'd noticed there was one of those special West Harris camping spots. We thought it would make an ideal spot to spend tonight. This is where we ended up, at the Harris Trust camp spot number four. And what an amazing spot it was to be able to spend the night. So for tea tonight we're having a classic stag chilli pie. But actually I was thinking I might make it just a little bit different. I'm gonna. I'm going to see if it works. I'm going to sprinkle some grated cheddar on top of the stag chilli when I put it in a pastry. Just using a standard tin and some puff pastry that you get from the chiller in Aldi. So it's not frozen, it's a chilled one. It's got a reasonably good day on it. And of course, for a ridge monkey pie, you need a ridge monkey. So uh, I'll come back to you in a minute when I've got everything open. So I've just unrolled the pastry out of the wrapper and I've just put just under half of it in the bottom. We'll spread it out a bit. Ah, oh, don't get it on the top, Tina. You don't want it on the top. Get over there, you. Stay. 
it's not quite in bowl. Spread it out quite evenly, best you can anyway. Like I say, I'm going to do a bit of a different slant on this one. I'm going to sprinkle a bit, of, a bit of cheese on the top. Come on, be nice. You know what's going to happen, it's all going to come out in one big lump. I was thinking about putting it in the pastry, but I don't think that would probably work. It'd make the pastry too. That's better. Blue's going nuts here. <laughs> He's sulking because he wants some cheese and I won't let him have any. So there we go with the cheese on top. And what I'm going to do now is just uh, roll that pastry over and crimp it the best that I can. There we go. Just simply folded the pastry over and crimped it a little bit just to get it together. I could have cut the excess off but Bernie likes a bit of pastry on the edge of his pie so uh, I've left it on for tonight and uh, I'll put it on on a very low heat and I think I turn it about every three minutes or so for about 20 minutes but um, I'll double check. I'm looking forward to this. I'm hungry <laughs> and so is this little man here. Are you, are you hoping that you can have some? Are you? I don't think that chilli would be very good for you. I know, I've put cheese on it, haven't I? There you have. So I thought I'd use up the uh, sweet potato fries that we bought to go with our burgers last night to have with this chilli pie. I think it's cooking nicely. Oh, yeah, it's scrummy. I've reduced the time now from every four minutes turning to every three as it's cooking. Don't want to burn it. I think we can safely say that they're done. Although sweet potato fries certainly look done. And the stag chilli pie looks done to perfection. It's had just under 25 minutes. now. I don't know which which side's gonna have the cheese on it. There we go Bernie. Thank you. Oh, it smells good. Hmm? It smells good. Mm -hmm. Might be a bit hot, be careful. Well, it's very nice. It's nice having the uh Flaky pastry as well makes it a lot lighter, doesn't it? Can you taste any of the cheese I put in? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Gives it a better texture as well. Actually. Yeah, when it melts in. Yeah, it makes mm. it a bit thicker, I thought, rather yeah. than too gravy. -y. Very nice. Excellent. Time for mine now, I'm guessing. And what a spot to be eating it in. I think it's Solboss Beach. Solboss. But I will look it up because I'm not sure which boss beach we're on at the moment. <laughs> Thanks for coming along with us. And if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button because it does help our channel to grow. And join us next time as we continue south down the rest of the Outer Hebrides.